let's look at the select tool in whiteboard.chat. So there's several ways that I can select an object. One is to go over to the control panel on the left hand side and to click on select. Another way is to double click on the object that I want to select and to look at the options that pop up. So when I do this, you notice that there are several things that I can do with this. I can lock it so that the students can't move it. I can enable student cloning so that when a student double clicks on it, they will have the option to drag it and clone it. Okay, I can clone it myself and just drag it over. That's for me. If you're wanting the students to be able to do that, you would want to click on Enable Student Clone. If you're wanting the students to be able to move the object around on your board, then you would also want to enable Student Move so that they're able to move it around. I can make it into a jigsaw puzzle if I want to. I can move it. I can copy it. There are lots of neat things. I can rotate it. So if I need to turn this, since this is a pattern block, maybe I want it to look more like that. Or maybe I want to move or rotate this one like that. If I want to move it, I would double click, click move, and move it around to where I want it to be. So there are lots of ways that you can use the select tool with objects that you have placed on your whiteboard dot chat. The other one that is cool is the animate tool. Now I can click on this and I can have it rotate. I can have it move. I can have it change colors. So let's just do the rotate one and I click on play animations, you'll see it's doing that. Then if I need it to pause, I just click on that and it will pause. Another one I can do is animate move. So if I click on this one, then I can draw where I want it to go to like that. Come over here and hit play and you can see how it is moving across the screen. So lots of cool tools that you can use.